Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how much money you can make with a gaming computer mining Ethereum. So that pretty much means how much money you're going to be able to make with one graphics card mining Ethereum today at the current price of $460. Now, this is going to change based on the price of Ethereum and the difficulty of mining Ethereum. So this video may not be relevant in about a month or two, but currently at this all-time high price of $460, you can definitely make a lot of money mining Ethereum with simply one graphics card. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Now I'm gonna apologize before I even start. Um, my voice is very raspy. I've been sick for the past week, so I'm just trying to get a video out for you guys this weekend. Um, so yeah, please don't um, get too mad at me for my voice sounding like death. Um, but yeah. All right, so let's get started with the RX 480. So on the left here, I have a bunch of different graphics cards. I have six of them. These are just common cards that may be in a mid to high end gaming PC that you're able to mine with. So again, if you don't know much about mining, you have to have at least four gigabytes of video RAM in your graphics card to be able to mine. So this means the GTX 1060 three gigabyte model is not on here as you can't actually use that to mine at the current DAG size of Ethereum. Now I have also the estimated mega hash per second and the estimated power draw of all of these cards in my little chart over here. These are just averages and they're gonna be different depending on what card you have and what system you're running them in. So I just looked online for the average mega hash per second on these cards. Obviously I don't have six video cards so I can't test them out all for you. Um, and this is just what I found. So it's gonna be different uh, for you guys and it's gonna vary a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the website I'm gonna be using for this is just cryptocompare.com. And if you simply just type in Ethereum mining profitability, you'll find this website and you'll be able to see how much money you can make mining Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies based on your hash rate and your power consumption. So for the first card, the RX 480, this is actually the card that I have, we're gonna be getting about 24 and a half mega hash per second. Now this again, I get 23 mega hash per second. Some people get 27. So it's gonna vary and this is just stock settings. So not overclocked, um, nothing done with the power consumption as well. All right, and we're gonna be drawing about 130 watts at full load, which is gonna net us a nice $460 per year um, mining Ethereum. And this is in US dollars. So we can go ahead and put 460 in our chart here so we can compare later. And this is your profit. So if you aren't paying electricity, you're actually going to be making about $600 per year as you don't have to pay for your power cost. All right, so let's go ahead to the next one. The RX 580 is a very similar card to the RX 480. You're going to be getting about 25 mega hash per second on this card with a power draw of slightly less, 120 watts, making us $483 per year mining Ethereum. Our next card, the GTX 1070, so getting a little bit higher on the on the scale here. This card's gonna use about 180 watts, and it's gonna mine at about 28 and a half to 29 mega hash per second, netting us $505 per year. And these are US dollars. All right, GTX 1080, so this is one, definitely the highest end card um, that most of you guys will probably have in your system with 11 gigabytes of video RAM. We're gonna be using about 230 to 250 watts on full draw, so I'll just put 230 in there to be conservative. And we're gonna be mining at about 32 mega hash per second, which is getting us about $537 per year. All right, the next one, GTX 1060, six gigabyte. So again, going down a little bit, not as a high end as a card, 120 watts. We're gonna be getting about 20 mega hash per second, close to that. So we're gonna be getting about $350 per year with this card. All right, now the GTX 1050 Ti. So this is definitely a lower end card. You can still run some pretty good games on it, but for mining, you can see its performance does lack um, with only getting about 12 mega hash per second here with a power consumption of 90 you're really not gonna be making that much with this card, a little more than the price of the card. So about $197 per year mining Ethereum. 
Now, these are all your estimated numbers on how much you're going to make in US dollars. Since I'm Canadian, I would want to go and convert these into Canadian dollars to see how much they are. Um, so right now, at the current price of Ethereum, it's not bad. Considering these costs right here are about the same, if not more, than the cost of the video cards. So you can see our best card, the GTX 1080, is going to get about $540. And that is if the price of Ethereum stays the same as it is right now. So as you can see here, the price of Ethereum does fluctuate quite a bit. And this is really going to dictate how much money you're going to be able to make mining it. So when people were mining up here, you're making a ton of money. When you're mining down here at a low of about $200, maybe even lower than that, you're really not making that much money. It's all about knowing when to sell your cryptocurrency um, and when to hold on to it. So yeah, that's pretty much been my video on how much money you can make mining Ethereum um, per year. Now again, this is definitely going to vary depending on the system you're running, um, how much power you're running. So here on this website, I only actually put in the power draw of the card. I didn't put in the power draw of the average computer because it's going to depend on what system you're running. If you're running a low-end motherboard, low-end processor that doesn't use a lot of power, then this number is going to be lower for your overall computer power draw. Um, same thing if you're running a higher end system with a higher um, power supply, a higher end CPU, um, you're going to be using more power. So yeah, I just put in the power consumption of the card. You can expect that you're going to be paying a little bit more in electricity costs as your system is going to be running as well as your graphics card. So yeah, that's been it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you again in another.